In Bolivia, August 7th, the day after the country's Independence Day, marks the anniversary of the National Armed Forces, which celebrated their 189th year in 2014. Each year, a massive military parade is staged in the administrative capital of La Paz. Since the arrival of President Evo Morales and Bolivia's self-proclaimed process of change, the march is now led by a massive procession of social movements. We are also soldiers in the process of change, and because of this, we must stand united as Bolivians. Dozens of worker and campesino-led movements participate in the procession, including rural indigenous Aymara organizations and militias identified by their red ponchos. We have always been the guardians of this process of change, and that's why we're participating in this military parade. Before coming to power in 2006, Morales, as well as a number of Bolivian social movements, fell victim to abuses committed by the Bolivian military. Organizers say that now things have changed. This didn't exist before. In fact, it was the opposite. The military was against the people and against indigenous peoples, but now there is brotherhood and harmony. Just over 30 years ago, the Bolivian military was responsible for a series of coup d'etats and dictatorships as part of the U.S.-led Plan Condor in South America. However, they are said to have undergone major changes under the administration of President Evo Morales. In 2010, the commander of the Bolivian Armed Forces pledged to defend the process of change led by President Evo Morales, declaring the military as socialist, anti-capitalist and anti-imperialist. Reporting from La Paz, Bolivia, this is David Dordi with Telesur.